How many of you started the game by playing this champion? Well, I sure did. To counter her, pick someone like Ezreal who can use his E to dodge most of what she has to throw you, including her ultimate. Draven because his poke is much harder than hers and she can't stop him. And finally, Sivir for her spell shield makes another great counter. Jinx for her very long range, Caitlyn for that same reason, and Tristana for her jump make other good counters as well. Ash's passive makes all of her basic attacks apply frost, slowing them mildly and briefly, also causing subsequent autos to deal extra damage while they're slowed. It also makes her crits not deal damage, but instead strengthen her slow on her enemies by a lot. Her Q makes her stack whenever she autos, and after 4 stacks, this ability can be activated to transform her auto attacks. Now they'll also fire a flurry of 5 arrows right after attacking and also grants her extra attack speed. Each flurry has the passive benefits from the slow. Her W fires 9 arrows in a cone that deal physical damage and slows enemies. This is her main form of Pokémon lane. Her E makes her send a spirit hawk to a target location with no range limit, and it will grant her team vision of the area it passes through and of the location hit for a short duration. Finally, her ultimate makes her fire the ultimate arrow, which again has no range limit and will keep flying until it hits an enemy champion, finally stunning them based on the duration it has traveled. In lane, all she can essentially do before level 6 is poke you with her W, so stand behind the minion line whenever you feel like this is coming. Like most ADCs, you can bet she's gonna bring heal or barrier, although heal is now much more back in the meta due to the fact that it can also save the support's life sometimes. You're probably playing ADC as well, so you'll take one of these too. In terms of power spikes, Ash, like most AD carries, grows increasingly well with the game, mid and late game being her best moments when she's got items like Runans and Infinity Edge behind her back. Level 9 is her best poking level, but definitely level 6 is her engaging level, although you might not see her using it until you've been hit since she'll probably fire it from very far far away. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, her volley has a big cooldown at early levels, so use that opportunity to trade after she's used it. She has zero defensive skills, so burst her down if you see an easy opening, or ask for an easy gank. Cleanse and Mercurial can come a long way in saving your life after she's stunned you from her base and enemies start piling on you. Ultimately, just have fun doing it.